गुड इवनिंग टू एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्केलेटल सिस्टम एंड द जॉइंट्स सो एज अ फ्रेशर्स एंड द फर्स्ट ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट्स यू नीड टू हैव एन आइडिया रिगार्डिंग द स्केलेटल सिस्टम एंड द इंडिविजुअल बोन्स ऑफ अवर बॉडी एंड द जॉइंट्स आर फॉर्मिंग इन बिटवीन द बोन्स सो लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड इन टू द टॉपिक here we can see first of all we need to see about the portions which are present this is the skull region and this is the thorax region okay this is the thorax region and this entire thing is the abdomen region okay this is the abdomen and this one is the lower limb okay this is the lower limb and coming to this is the upper limb you understood this is the skull region and this is the thorax this is the abdomen and lower limb and upper limb so let us discuss in detail about each and every portion so this is the skull we can see here this one is the orbit okay this is orbit where our eyes are located into it and coming to this one our teeth are present and this is a nasal cavity is present and here this bone is mainly called mandible okay this bone is called mandible and here we can see this all are ribs this is the humerus bone already labeled in the diagram and this is the radius and this is the ulna okay let us assume one line in the middle of the body like this is an median plane okay this is the median plane so now whatever the portion which is very near to the median plane that is called medial side what medial side and this is the lateral side which is away from the median plane that is uh, let us see here this is the medial and this is the lateral side again here also on the either side this will be the medial side and this is the lateral side so let us see what are the bones present on the medial side and the lateral side here the humerus is present okay this is the medial side of the humerus and this is the lateral side of the humerus and coming to the radius and ulna the radius will be present this is the ulna ulna will be present medially and the radius will be present laterally away from the median median plane that's why it is lateral side okay and uh, coming to the bone this is the clavicle right this is the clavicle bone and here the joint is the shoulder joint in between the humerus and the glenoid cavity of scapula right glenoid cavity of scapula of scapula the shoulder joint is formed and coming to this is the elbow joint in between the humerus radius and ulna the elbow joint is formed and then here this is the wrist joint okay this is the wrist joint is formed in the radius and ulna and the corporal bones also involved in it coming to this these are the corporal bones i'll explain here let us see these are one minute these are the corporal bones eight in number this are the corporal bones very important and coming to this are uh, all are metacarpals meta carpals okay and coming to these are uh, all are phalanges which means you can see i'll rub this these all are phalanges okay phalanges phalanges like this they will be present okay 1 2 and 3 this is the proximal phalanx and this is the medial phalanx and this is the distal phalanx which means this is the distal and this will be the middle and this will be the proximal wait wait a minute let us see now this is the metacarpal and this is the carpals eight in number and these all are phalanx phalanx phalanges which means this is the proximal phalanx and uh, this is the middle phalanx and this last one is the proc distal phalanx okay distal one this you should remember this will be the proximal side of the body and this will be the distal side of the body okay and coming to the joints here come from the beginning here we can see the on the back side we can see the Atlanto axial joint that is the pivot joint. Okay, 
pivot type of the joint we can discuss in the next session about the joint and coming to this is the sternoclavicular joint sternoclavicular what does it mean this is all the sternum and this is a clavicle so in between those they form that is called sternoclavicular joint and coming to the uh, already we discussed this is a shoulder joint and this is the elbow joint and this is the breast joint coming to the lower limb we can see this is the hip joint hip joint is formed in between the head of the femur and the hip bone okay and um, on the either side we can see this is the sacroiliac joint okay this is all this is the sacroiliac joint because this bone is the sacrum this is the sacrum bone this is the sacrum okay this bone i'll uh, sacrum bone okay this is the this is the sacrum bone and uh, this is the ilium ilium of the hip bone so in between those uh, there is a joint that is called sacroiliac joint and coming to the other joint this is the knee joint very important joint is formed in between the femur and the tibia the fibula will not be involved in the knee joint okay remember this point the fibula will not involve in the knee joint whatever the articulation which means joint formation is present in between tibia and fibula only the fibula only will articulate with the tibia not with the femur so this is the superior which means superior tibiofibular joint and this is the inferior tibiofibular joint is present and the same as uh, the hand here also it will be present this is the all the seven tarsal bones okay tarsals will be present and then metatarsals will be present and then the phalanx is same as the hand there will be three phalanxes like this you can observe this is the proximal phalanx and this is the this will be the distal phalanx and the, definitely this is the middle phalanx so almost briefly we have discussed about all the skeletal skeleton which means bones and the joints which are formed in between the bones and this is the pubic symphysis remember this this is the pubic symphysis pubis symphysis okay pubis symphysis so this is all about the like a skeletal system in brief so now you can have a better idea to understand the joints in brief and whatever the classification of joints will be our next video so there you can understand what is the importance of this video so stay tuned for the next video and uh, like share subscribe to our channel for getting uh, notifications whenever i upload the new video and drop whatever the queries uh, are present with you in the comment down uh, comment section so that i'll uh, respond to that and thank you for your support thank you so much